Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this again here. Go live once again. Okay, it's gonna resume right now. Damn it. <clears throat> oh. All right there. All right, so you good, I'll brother. I'm good there. Can you hear me well? Hold on. Can you see my can you see my screen? Uh Look, no I'm gonna show you. Three, two, <clears throat> let me know when you see it. To do that, I have to go to Skype on the computer to see the screen there. Because I can I can show you like how to get on Skype and adjust your settings and so there's no echo. All right. Well, I don't hear no echo now. Oh, it's good. All right. Well, it's let's start all the good damn here. show. Okay, let's boogie then. Clown horn. Hey. <laughs> and then right. also another piece of news. I was listening to Eddie Trunk today. He said next week, thir uh, Wednesday, go. he's going to have Jason Newstead call in and he's going to, you know, some people, I guess the new, some news outlets are taking it overboard about the Van Halen stuff. But then yeah. Joe Satriani's coming out and he's confirming that, yeah, there was plans. And there's narratives that, you know, that, that uh, Newstead came out and, like, we ruined the new, like, what is it called? Um, spoiled it. Uh, so he's going to actually come on himself and explain blah, blah, blah. Um, definitely something we would have to go to, uh, Brown, this big Van Halen, like, tribute tour. They're saying it's going to be a tour. Mm -hmm. um, you know, David Lee Roth and, I mean, they want Sammy involved. They want everyone involved. I and, know, yeah. That's going to be interesting because, you know, because I remember you mentioned that Sammy and Michael Anthony and their band, The Circle, was supposed to be um, doing a tour around areas here. And I know they played Texas not too long ago. Yeah, they've been doing guess, a bunch of Van Halen. I mean, obviously, they're old. They're, lots they're of Van Sammy Halen. Hagar there songs. Was, I know, yeah. So I guess it's going to be a combination of both, if I'm correct. Yes. So I guess Roth is going to do some of his material, and then Sammy's going to be doing his material. Now, the thing is, are Sammy and Dave going to see eye to eye on this tour? Because you remember back in the 2002, Hagar and Roth did a joint tour together, and I guess it was, um, it was considered a disaster because, you remember, both those guys don't see eye to eye there. So obviously, you know, they got to work something out so that way um, those dudes can coexist on one tour th together. So I have to wait and see there. And uh, YR, I got to show you this. I'm going to reach over here and get these. Now, I did a vlog on these kind of records here. Oh, I saw that. Um, Art, did this you ever see those bigger records like that? These are right. six, yeah, these are, I found out about these. But we um, can't even see them, Brown, so real great. And ladies and gentlemen, S-C-C-C. -C -C -C. Yeah, these are actually, shout out to Leapy Lizard for giving me some of the info on these. These are 16-inch records that are used for radio stations between 1930 and 1959. And um, they're basically were used for uh, interludes. Uh, for news broadcasts, for um, weather reports, or uh, updates on this and that there. And to, to own the, to play these, you have to get yourself a record player that will play these sides of records. Because you try to play them on a record, regular record player, it's just no can do. And I mean, look, as you can see right here, the label in the middle is just about the size of my hand here, almost. That's how big these things are. I showed these things to my sister and brother-in-law after I got them. I'm like, they're like, holy cow. Are you able to play those down on your record player? They were like, I don't think I can there. Right. I don't and like to talk about the drama, but I hope that Yara's mother is dying in the grave. You remember that, Earl? Mm, no, I do not. Uh, I don't think on, I ever but, said that. I don't no, think I ever you, said that. No, you said something about his his mother's like his mother's corpse in a grave. You were like, I, I don't, don't recall. Like... Uh, come well, on, dude, well, really? Steve, 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 Steve. That is in the past, and that is that. No, but I'm just like, I'm just 
confirming you did say that at one point. Yeah, I take that back. And you know what? I took that back. You see, we all have a little bit evil in us, but it doesn't mean that we're fucked up. It's just you know, at times we get a little mad and, you know, Earl kind of crossed the line. and then uh, Oh, everybody crossed the line. Everyone got off the line. Well, I don't know if line. I talked Scott about McKinney young crossed. Republicans, you know, family yeah. like that, but... Um, yeah, I, I take that back. You know, I said a lot. We gotta remember, we come from a family of big mouths. <laughs> my dad would shoot his off. Big... My mom would you shoot his remember? mouth off. You know, we all we all shot our mouths off at one point at time there, and we look back and it's like, damn, I was a fucking idiot for saying that. You you used to be like this. I don't talk about the drama, but I will shit on Wyatt's mother. Uh, Steve, Steve, are you here to talk about that, or are you going to do, join in the discussion of music? Um, so talking about music, I don't know if you guys are aware, it is the Latin. Music Awards tonight. Mm. Now you get all of the greatest artists of all time in one scenario. In one, sorry, in one um, scenario, I guess. Mm. One night. One night and one night only. Fuck all the rock stars that ever lived and graced the earth. Fuck all the guitars. Nothing can compare to a Bad Bunny or to a J Balvin ever. Okay, let's just get that out right now. Bad Bunny. Can't and wait this to... is not and this is not the Twitch streamer who's demanding money from everyone, right? That Ken talked about a couple of years back. No, I think it was Joe Cronin that talked about this woman. Um, um Ken did as well. Oh, I'm not sure. But I'm trying to say that um basically fuck any guitar players. Well, there are some guitar players out there who are Latin and not Latin as well. It doesn't matter. But well, I, I think the ones that suck are the ones from like Detroit. They're they're like born and raised in Detroit, and then they go like. Steve, to tech. Steve, Steve, are you here to cause trouble? What do you mean? You don't? You disagree with me? Are you here to start drama? Are you here to cause trouble? Well, okay. Look, I'll stop. Can you say? Can you stop with the drama talk? Can you say that? And I'll stop. Well, first and foremost, what am I supposed to? Well. There are drama moments that need to be discussed, you know, like the uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard defamation case going on. People like to know about that. Can you hit that, though? Can you can you hit can you hit one and like go like, I see no more drama talk. Can you hit that? Hello. Hello. Hold on a second there. Somebody said I'm muted. Oh, God damn it, dude. I mean, look, guitar players that come from fucking Detroit and then move to Texas, I think they suck, to be honest. You, do you know any, by any chance, uh, Mr. Earl Hebner? Well, 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 why are you dogging Detroit? I'm not dogging Detroit. I'm just dogging no, Detroit. No, you are. No, 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 you are dogging. No, no, I'm talking about the people that were born there. Like myself. Oh! But you Remember. didn't move to Texas. Did you move to Texas? Yes, I did. Oh shit! Then you're a perfect example. My bad. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Dude, you're just like just like uh, Elon Musk. You suck. Arknolia Snorkel snorkel bean. Hello? Yes. Now let's let's touch a real topic now. I'm just fucking around. Let's talk about the uh Jefferson airplane. What do you guys think about that? Ooh. I like them. Well, they had some good songs there, we all know that. Are we okay? Are we okay there? Yes. Okay. All right. Back to our scheduled program. Okay. 
So we're talking about guitar players, and we're talking about, you know, this is, um, I guess, part three of our discussion there. Yep. Okay. You want okay, me there? to start again? Okay, go ahead. Way to go, Earl. I think we already talked about Frank Zappa, who was on my list. Yes, I think he was the last person we talked about. Okay, next one on my list is Chet Atkins. Yeah, I heard about this guy. This guy was an influence on Mark Knopfner. Yeah, he's country, but he was definitely one of the pickers, as you would say. I see there, yes. And he played with his fingers, if I'm correct there? I believe that's like, correct. Ah, so that's where Mark Knopfner learned his shops from. Because they did do an album together, I guess, summer in, um, I guess it was in 2000, I think it's in the 1990s, after Dire Straits briefly broke up. Henry okay. Fryer is here, he's next. All right. I'm all out of list, but I'll give my opinion on any artists that are mentioned. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Then it says he's Steve. Oh, right. shit. Ah, damn. You guys got me there. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to go with someone that's so basic. Randy Rhodes. Mm. Great guy. Legend. Would have been the greatest if that, that idiot in the uh, airplane wasn't fucking around that day. I mean, things happen, you know, Earl. I mean, you know, things happen. Am I right, Earl? I mean, look what you said about YR's family. You know, Let it go, Steve. I'm just saying, though, things happen, though. Let right? it go. That is a good song, though. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let that go. shit go, man. Oh, you know the lyrics? No. I'm just oh. saying, I'm telling you to let it go. Oh, no, no. Let go what? Randy Rhodes? The shit that I said in the past. Oh, no, dude, I'm over that. I'm... Dude, that's like fucking bridge under a water. You know what I mean? You got anybody, Earl? Yeah, but um, he... I... sorry, he uh, passed away in March 19, uh, 1982. Sorry, continue. I know, yeah. It says I'm still muted for some reason. I don't know why it's happened. Well, it's a weird kind of mute because I can hear you. All right, well, no. there. Hold on a second there. Yeah, he really is muted. Um, what else can we go from here? I guess. Uh, how about Slash? Yeah, and I, uh, you think my next one is kind of a nod to you, Steve. Yes. Uh, Carlos Santana. Ah, why, oh, whoa, whoa! Now, why was that a nod to me? Hold on, whoa! We gotta, we gotta clarify this real quick. Whoa! Aren't you Hispanic? I'm smelling a little racism over here on the wire. Oh, no. That's not racist. It's appreciation, dude. Whoa, whoa. I feel attacked right now, dude. Oh, no. No. no it's not. I admire Carlos Santana. Whoa. Why? Because he crossed the border? Dude, I feel so attacked right now, bro. Why? Psych, now I'm kidding. The guy can play a <laughs> mean solo. A mean oh. solo, bro. He is definitely one of the best. You know what Carlos Santana reminds me of? Go ahead. Fine wine. The older he gets, the better he is. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. Just like you two gentlemen. Why can't you hear me now? You sound Where like... Are you on Verizon? Uh, yeah, you sound like you're fucking... Uh, talking from the other side of the metro train over here in New Jersey. I had to take, I had to take, somehow I had to take uh, the D's off here, the head bud, earbuds. Yeah. I guess, Keith, who, who, who's your choice? I'm going with Bob, Bob, Bo Diddley. Yeah. Who? You know what's funny? I think his name is actually Keith Richards, right? 
<laughs> I think he stole his, one of his songs or something. I don't know. But the Hasten ladies, the Hasten ladies love Bo Diddley. Yeah. Okay. Way to go. And I, and I believe this would be Earl's turn if he's here. Hold on a second. I'm going to send this stream here. I'll I'm speak this for and just record on my stupid. I'll, I'll speak for Earl and I'll go with Jimi Hendrix. He was actually the very first guy we mentioned, but that's that. There's no point. There's no reason we can't say it again. That is true. 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 All right. Yeah, I had to uh, fucking end the stream. Though it was on my end, was getting muted left and right. It's a mess, dude. It's a complete mess. Mm. <sighs> Pissed off right now. All right, there. Now, have I mentioned any of the guys from Iron Maiden, like Dave Murray? All of them. Yeah. Okay, there. So I'm going to go with a guy who played with Thin Lizzy for one album. It was her final studio album. It was entitled Thunder Lightning, a great album to listen to. And this guy would later join Whitesnake, play on two albums of theirs, slide it in, and the self-titled album from 87 with Still the Night and Here I Go Again. That became a massive success. I am talking about the album. I'm talking about the guitarist, John Sykes. Yes. Yes, dude. Fuck yes. All right. It's fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, my next guy uh, was good enough that he had a guitar named after him, and that's Les Paul. I am. The man who kind of invented the electric guitar. Yeah. My turn? Yeah. Your turn. Eric Clapton. Oh, yeah. What can we say? The man's done it all. I've played with them all. The guy is a hidden gem who needs to be more, more famously recognized throughout the industry. Oh, he's way more beyond recognized. I mean, he's influenced everyone, including Eddie Van Halen. But I think Eddie's better than him. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. Okay. No, let it go. 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 Don't tell me somebody knew us already. Probably why are. Let it go. Let that go. Let that go. <laughs> oh gosh. Jeez. No, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let that go. Let go, man. No, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let that go. Let go, man. Let it go. Let it go. Let that go. Get going. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was you, YR. <laughs> Thank you for giving me that idea, Assy. That was good, right? All right. Okay, so why are do you, who's your pick next on your uh, guitar player list? I don't have we we said them all. Like I'm just right, going with well, don't have. Well, we did. Well, I'm all out, so y'all go ahead and I'm listening and I'm putting in my opinion but, when they're when I know who you know. Obviously, if there's okay. like an S.E. Steve playing guitar, I don't even know who the fuck that is. But <laughs> and then we got ourselves a Keith. All right. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um. I. I have Ray Vaughn's. I like Stevie Ray Vaughn. What? Yeah. Uh, Do you even know who that is? All I know is he's on my sunglasses. Ray Vaughn's. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Perfect description. <laughs> All right, guys, go ahead. 
All right. It's Earl. All right. I'm going to start with this guy here from this legendary band. This guy was the guitar player for Thin Lizzy for the earlier years. He would later do a, one album and a tour with Motorhead. Brian Robinson. Look for the album Live and Dangerous. He's featured on there, as well as Motorhead's Another Perfect Day. He did some, they did some killer licks and sh chords on that album there. Right. Have we That's, mentioned Pete Townsend? I think we have. Or it happened, we can definitely do it so now. Or I'll just move on to Chuck Berry. But no, I know we did him. I know we have. Gary Moore. Yeah, that's right. Another Thin Lizzy guitar player. I guess he played on their version of Whiskey in the Jar. If I'm correct. Tom and Jerry? What? <laughs> All right. S.C. -E Steve. All right. Uh, Sorry, gentlemen. I, I'm going to have to go with the one and only... Tom um, Morello. Credit to him. He does come up with had he came up with some good uh, sound effects on his guitar there. I mean the uh, the scratching he did on that one song "Bulls on Parade" pretty much says it there, and the solo he did on uh, that one song, um, what is it called? Like a stone with audio slave was pretty. That was a pretty uh, whoop ass solo there, and the device that he used on it. Well, isn't he famous for that one song? It goes like this. Do, do, down, down. Do, 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 do. Down, down. Do, 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 do. Down, down. Hmm. What's the name of the song then? Uh, I don't recall. And then it was. Down, down. Do, 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 do. Down, down. Hmm. Um, I only know usually the ones I know from Rage are either Wake Up, Killing in the Name of, Bulls on Parade, and a few others. Is it my turn yet? No, it's Ark's turn. Yeah, Yingve Malmstein. Oh, yeah, Yippee yay, yay, yeah. Keith, have you been? Imbibing on a substance. I've been, I've been doing a couple of the, of the triple C's, of the bath wipes. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Nipping on them makes to get high. Yes, it allows me to be on the show with you guys. And <laughs> do what I gotta do. Yeah. Hmm. SC. Right. Yeah. Is it my turn yet? Uh, no. Not yet, Keith. Okay. Oh, my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'm just waiting here. Well, I did say Tom Morello. You did, yeah. Uh, you want me okay. to throw out another one? I'll have to go with uh, fucking uh, Peter. What's his name? Peter Grip? No, Peter Frampton. Mm. Oh, man. A little further down on my list, but yeah, I got him. Yes, he's definitely, definitely worth mentioning. Absolutely, he does. I mean, the guitar work he did on um, the Frampton Comes to Life record was pretty, uh, says it all there, including the talk box. Did you ever see him live? No, I haven't, yeah, but I heard many... Um, Many um, times I've heard uh, tracks from Frampton Comes Alive on the classic rock stations. And we also cannot forget, he did tour as David Bowie's lead guitarist back in 1987. You know, my mother was born in 1962. Uh, okay. Hello, Brown? Hello, I'm here. You can you hear me? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, everything really good, yes. What about you? Right. Did you fix your computer? 
No, it's not with his computer. It was live. I'll get with you. I'll okay, get with you. I'll get with you sometime this week and okay, fix definitely. it all up so it's not yeah, messed right. up. Yeah, because I I'm I'm having because I'm fucking fed up with this OBS bullshit going on. This lagged um that's been happening. I don't. Know Keith got computer. a new computer. I think Keith got a new computer today. Oh, good. I, I bought a new computer, and I'll be going live. And like SC said, I won't talk about YR's family. Like Earl. Yeah. Well, I almost hesitate to say this, but it's Keith's turn. All right. All right. Keith. It's my mine is the one and only Michael Sanchez. Michelangelo. Michelangelo Badio. Painter, yeah. No, Michelangelo Bato, I think it's his Bathroom. Name I'm sorry. Oh. I have to talk to people or threaten people's mothers like you, Earl. Yeah. Keith, chill. Sounds like he's already chilled. I'm in the sky right now. Yeah. Earl. Yes, I talked to. Earl, talk to Keith about the bullshit he's doing, bro. Come on, man. Stop it. You're not my father. Well, I'm going to be. Well, apparently you're Darth Vader. Keith, Earl's like a good role model, though. You can't argue that, Keith. You know what I'm saying? People like Donald Trump and Ken and stuff, good role models. You know what I'm saying, Keith? People you should look after. I muted him. Oh. Harold's turn. Okay, my turn. Another guy from Thin Lizzy who uh, deserves a lot of credit. Scott, he was the only U.S. member of Thin Lizzy, the all Irish rock band. Wait. Scott Gorham. Why you mean Keith? Because it'd be because of the shit that's coming out of his mouth. All right, Keith, Jim. I don't see him. I think he's still muted, I guess. Oh. Uh -huh. Earl, is it your, is it your turn, Earl? SC? No, I, I already I already mentioned mine, so I think it's SC's turn now. Oh mine. All right, there. Oh my. You know what? I, I have to say, I think we've kept it very sexist here on this program. I'm gonna go with Lita Ford. Oh. Mm. Kiss me once, kiss me deadly. Damn. You know what? I I, re I still remember she did a photo shoot for a magazine called Faces, which was a rock publication, and she was in some Badass Donna Matrix, shiny PVC, you know, uh, boots, you know, um, leather teddy there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you ever saw any of those photos back then, guaranteed boner right there. And she still looks good, by the way. Still looking fly. Mm -hmm. And she's okay. still on the road playing. My next one is Neil Sean. All right, from Journey. Who started yep. out with Santana and did two records with Jan Hammer? You may remember the song No More Lives from uh, 1983. He was at a super group with Sammy Hangar, wasn't he? Yeah. HSAS. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, great album with Kenny Arison and Michael Shreve, who used to drum for Santana. Great album. I guess it was called Through the Fire, I think it was called. Good album. Definitely recommend it. Well, uh, are we still going to let Keith participate? Well, if he sticks at the top, is he get off the prone, the personal shit there? I don't see him on the call, actually, so I guess we could oh. skip him. All right, there. So it's your turn, Desi. Um, Earl, I don't want, Earl, don't be running off my co-host. So come on, Earl. I'm not. I'm not. You think he went? You think he went overboard? Well. Well, a couple of times, I know there was a last week when he was actually on the call. I went to, I was going to yell my head off and when he only talked about, well, one thing Keith does not need to be is closed minded. Okay. That's all I ask. Start absorbing and expanding his horizons. He needs to. Nancy Wilson. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good guitar player. Check out the thing she had on Baby Lestrange called Silver Wheels, which is an acoustic instrumental there. 
and the, 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 and the acoustic intro to Crazy on You. You're crazy for me? The song. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. That got me blushing over here. Right? Her? Okay. Okay. I got to give up on this. Speak it up. By the way, speaking of hearts, we got to give a nod off to this guy. He was uh, one of their first lead guitar players. Uh, he's currently touring in, in one of the lineups of Bad Company. <laughs> Uh, while Mick Rouse, their guitar player, is um, home resting. I guess he's some sort of having some health issue, if I'm correct there. Howard Lees. He played on almost all the Heart albums. Like A Babel of Strange, Dog and Butterfly, Dreamboat, Annie, uh, Magazine, Little Queen, the self-titled record, Bad Animals. Almost all of them there. Said he's not with them right now there. Okay. The next My time name. you kick me out, Earl, I'm never coming Bob, back. Bob. Uh, come on. Yay, Bye, Keith, you drunk? Keith, are you drunk? Tonight? Fuck you, bye. Jesus. Keith, What's are you drunk? Essie, you've been, Essie, you've been telling Keith to like chill this week, like giving him good advice. Dude, I've been you know? lay off the fucking triples. I don't have, he left the call. I have no idea what the fuck's up with him. That's what we've been telling to lay off them triple C's, man. Is it, All right. Dude. You My know what, one. Keith, if you're listening, Keith, if you're listening, Earl and I, right? If the triple C's don't kill you, Keith, Earl and I will. Right, right, Earl? I believe so. Yes, absolutely. Fuck drugs. Because there I wanted to, you know what? I wanted to kill and uh, knock him on his ass when the YR called me, you know, looking how zoned out he was. And it because he, he now we're did, just figuratively because, speaking, right, Earl? Yeah. We don't need that to be taken out of context. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, there. Whose turn is it now? Me. Okay. Me. Me. My next one is Carrie Levergren. From Kansas. Yeah. All right. Kansas. Just like uh Superman. Huh. Clark Kent. You know what I mean? All right, Can I throw out an idea for this show next time? Just, just a real complete side note. All right. How about instead of uh, guitarists, we do greatest vocalists? Well, actually, that is next. Yeah, we oh. already did. Yeah, we're going to do male vocalists because we already did that episode where we talked about female vocalists there a long mm -hmm. while back. Okay, uh, we could do that, and we could also do which bands were the greatest, like had the greatest promoters or advertising group teams. You know what I mean? Mm. We don't. We also. See, we should also yep. talk about record labels, the great record labels. Like that were owned by yep. the bands themselves, like Rolling Stones Records, you know, all the Frank Zappa record labels he ran, Apple Records that the Beatles had going for a while there, Swan Song ran by Led Zeppelin, Threshold by the Moody Blues. We got to definitely talk about those record labels there. I agree, Mr. Earl Hebner. You mind if I call you Earl Hebner from now on? That's uh, okay. Couple of people have at work. Earl Hebner, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Jack White, bro. Hmm. You know what's kind of funny? You know, remember that when he it was just even though it was him and his ex-wife, he what he did is that he had tuned detuned his guitar down to make it sound like a bass guitar. That's how he did it for that song Seven Nation Army. It's Pat McAfee's theme song. Yeah. It's because in soccer they they all chant that. Have you guys seen the chants in soccer? Mm -hmm. mm. Beautiful. Ah. Yo, I just got breaking news that Keith 
fractured his knee in soccer today. Ow. What? Ow. No. God was- damn it. It was someone's cleat. He someone's cleat stepped on his. Someone's mm. soccer cleat stepped on his knee there. Mm, ouch! Careful I guess, there. I guess that explains why he came on the call acting so zoned like, out. Yeah, because yeah. he was zoned out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess we should apologize. I'm sorry, Keith. Yeah, it was my bad, Keith. Be careful next time. Okay, is it my turn? Yeah. Okay, this guy is also another member of Kansas. He's still currently with them. In the back in the day, he was. Earl, you threatened wearing... me to kill me. Ah, shut Fuck up. You. Uh, Keith, are you okay? Bye. What happened to your knee? I'm out. Bye. Good. Anyways, this guy so, was known Cronin for being on. Sure, Cronin will pick him up, Keith. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> really? That's that funny? I didn't even try on that. Really, Jesse? I don't no, you even don't try. Want to, I didn't even no, you try don't want to wish, joke, bro. Come you don't on. you don't want to wish that on Keith, man. <laughs> nah, someone fucking stepped on his kneecap. Soccer today. That's our bro, this is why our program news, rumors, and sports. <laughs> Come and on. drama. News, drama, rumors, and sports. Mm-hmm. And rock and roll. And music. And rock and... But right seriously, SC, SC, if you had to pick one guitarist, honestly, minus Eddie Van Halen, you know, think of your Slashes, think of your Tom Arellos, think of your, I mean, even Elvis, for Christ's sakes. Who would you go ahead and pick, brother? Being Dr. Pearl, Edner Brown. <laughs> so that's a compliment, I guess, from my Dude, guitar the guy, the guy's skinny as a twig, and he picks up that guitar, and he just, like, women go all over him like a mm-hmm. magnet, bro. Hey, what can I say? What do you think, Earl, what do you think about weed being legal in New York and New Jersey? Mm, I don't know. Stores, I don't... People going to stores now. Well, Pretty that's easy. the best. You know what? The, the, those places are the best areas to sell Girl Scout cookies. No. SC, no, seriously. That, did, SC, that, did, that happened a couple of times there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Girl Scouts SC, there sold these. SC what? is against weed and Girl Scout cookies, correct, SC? Or Girl Scouts, rather. He thinks the organization is... Was this Girl another Scout. Ponzi scheme or something? <laughs> what? No, I'm against weed, dude. Hmm. I'm not a smoker myself there. Never tried it. And I don't plan on it myself there. It sucks, but dude. I do know. But the, but you know what? You know, I remember hearing that a couple of Girl Scouts sold their cookies in front of those medical marijuana joints there. Chicks made millions of dollars. I mean, they continue making it right now. Yeah. But the weed or Girl Scout cookies. With weed, what do you mean, Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> Ponzi scheme with Girl Scout cookies. I gotta Google that. That's a good one. It is because, bro, you can get those same Girl Scout cookies at Walmart for like, like a fraction of the price. Right. Yeah, okay, so I, I get. Listen, I they call. I think they call them the Samoas. It's the coconut with the chocolate. I can get the. I can get a whole thing of them at Walmart for like two dollars. Mm. For like a one dollar, one some between one and two dollars. Girls got cookies are like, aren't they four dollars a box, five dollars a box? Mm, I'm, I know I haven't. It's been a while since I bought any of myself there. You know, and I and usually they, buy and they, this and they, and they, and they shrunk it. Hello, yeah. Hello. And they shrunk and, and they shrunk in size <laughs> over the years. Like you used to get more cookies. Now there's Girl. less ro- like there's less cookies. Yeah, I'm not done. Hello, yeah. Can you speak. <laughs> Thank you. I see. Go ahead, brother. Earl. How do you feel when YR does that to you? Like, hello, I'm not done yet. Oh, he does that. There we are. He did it with Keith. He did it with Bull Queef. He did it with um, a couple other people as well. There. He even did it with Minnesota Vikings. Keep my name Vikings out of your fan. mouth, Earl. Keep my name out of your mouth. Uh, Keith, shut the fuck up, dude. Drug head. Fucking loser like Tony. 
<laughs> Dedic- dedicate your fucking life to drugs, asshole. <laughs> you worship drugs. Here. <laughs> Okay, there. Okay, it was my turn again. All right. ahead, sorry. Okay, this guy, as I mentioned, you know, was well known for wearing a tuxedo on stage with Kansas. And uh, since that, he has um, just kind of put that away, it just wore regular, regular clothing. And if you notice, since 1986, when Kansas came back, he has been wearing an eye patch. Right. And that's because. He lost that eye in a firecracker accident as a young oh, kid. Maybe. And he's been sent for a long during that time when he was wearing the tuxedo, he was wearing a prosthetic eye. Mm-hmm. He has since decided to wear an eye patch instead. Mr. Richard Williams of Kansas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you, I mean, um, I see. Do you have any warm milk and laxatives I can? <laughs> it's a song lyric. Oh, Nirvana. oh my God. Nirvana, Penny Royalty. I actually have a question for Mr. Snorkel, Snorkeloria. Snorkeloria? What? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's talking to you, Ark. I know. Arknolia Stroke of Bean, right? Okay. Quick question for you, brother. This is out of topic. Wait, did you just say, dude? Did you just say stroke a teen? <laughs> hey. Did, did he just, Bessie, did you really say that? Stop. Bessie, stop. Come on. <laughs> no, I did not say that. No, replay it. No. Re- replay it right now. We, I did not say that. I said stroke a bean. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Ark, I'm not even going to say your last name anymore. Fuck that. Ark. Okay. Um, this is out of topic. Do you listen to the YR program when it's not Music Maniacs? No. It's okay. Mm, I don't know. Okay. I was just curious. Had a heck of a time finding his channel. See. Listen, we could go live every day, and sometimes it's not drama, but sometimes we'll get uh, brown on our and stuff. But, um, you know, we keep it PG pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Compared to. A couple of times I was at, I was able to join. I wanted to join in, but by the time I get done for work, it's a show's already ended there. Rarely. We be I still, I, 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 Listen, I still... next week, we're going to do a big show next week. All right, good. Go all night and shit. We'll get you in. All right, so. definitely. Good, good. Good, good. <laughs> I still... <laughs> I, like, I, 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 I know I can't help it because I'm still thinking about that thing with the with the Minnesota there. <laughs> with the animal noises. <laughs> oh gosh. That was that was one hundred percent pure classic, dude. You put you okay? in this place there. Oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Just that. Use fans. You yeah. need a mouth to mouth resuscitation? Like No, I'm okay, dude. Jesus Christ, there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just listened to it on the YouTube. And speaking of which, I guess, um, if I'm correct, he's alive right now. Who? Who's that? Minnesota, Minnesota Vikings fan. Boy. I don't talk about him. Sorry. I'm not going to. Anyways. Um, All right. He's listening to some rap music. Jesus. Weirdo. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Steve Hackett. From Whoa. Genesis and GTR and his solo career as well. Good album to re- I recommend from him is Voyage of the Acolyte. 
Yeah. Pretty good stuff there. All right. SC Steve. Oh, I'm going to go with the one and the only, the hardcore pound of sex machines themselves. Let's say, let's see if you guys know who I'm talking about. No? Boom. Give us a clue. Well, they were known as, like, this was their name, like the hardcore pounding sex machines. Hardcore sex. Mm, no. Not really. Uh, Mr. Ark? Mm, if that's a band name, it's a weird one. Yeah. Well, no, By, no, no. That's what they were called. Like, they're... By critics and writers? No, that's what they were just called behind the scenes. I'm talking mm. about the heart, dude. Heart. Heart? Yeah. The band Heart. Yes. Hmm. I didn't know they were sex addicts. Well, I mean, that's what rumor has it. Well, I do know Nancy Wilson dated uh, Roger Fisher, one of the guitar players. And I know she later moved on to their drummer, Mike DeRozier. And Ann was involved with M Roger Fisher's brother, Mike. Mike Bossier? No, Mike Fisher. Who, by the way, was a fugitive living in Vancouver to avoid the draft. Did you guys get drafted? Never. I did. Oh, Ark, can you dive into that real quick? Yeah, uh, actually, I had just gotten out of my second year of college, and uh, I got a notice that I was to report for induction. And I immediately went down to the Air Force recruiter and joined the Air Force to get out of the Army. God. And I spent seven years in the Air Force. Seven ah. years? God damn. Damn. But either way, you served in the Armed Forces. Either way, though. Right. Yeah. Right. I was in RCC for two years. So, a lot of marching. And... I was. Uh, I was a computer specialist in the Air Force. Nice. And this was back in the day. Because remember, I'm the oldest one here. Well, no, yeah. I'm Art, you're what are you, like 42, 43? I'm 71. What the fuck, dude? Dude, your, your energy, your energy gives off as if you were like fucking 42. Doing shows with <laughs> 71 year old man. You too. Damn. Right. <laughs> That's why I actually know about 60s music. I was yeah. there. Lucky you. Yeah, I got to I got to see these a lot of this stuff lit, uh, released live. Yeah, live. and many bands oh, that you got new. to see as well there. Actually, I didn't start going to concerts until about the 80s or 90s. Did you do all that stuff in the concerts? You know what I mean? No, I, I am also a non-participant in that stuff. That's beautiful, dude. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I see the means people who do that stuff, like kind of like how people kind of like how people get sober and shit on everyone for not being sober. Girl <laughs> <laughs> Hebner. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I guess it's my turn now. Now, since we already mentioned this guy um, being involved with Nancy Wilson, we should give him his due for his guitar playing within the heart. Roger Fisher there. He also went on to play with a band called Alias, which lasted for a brief short while there with ex-members of the band Sheriff. I remember yeah. seeing them yeah. at the Ritz and Roseville back in 1990 when he played there. In fact, I remember having a Hearts Baby Lestrange in my, my possession that got them uh, all signed by the three members of Heart. Steve Flossen, Mike DeRozier, and um, Roger, Roger Fisher. 
And we talked briefly how Hart at that time was not the same Hart as it was before because he got top more top 40s, singing other people's uh, songs there, songs written for them by other artists and other songwriters instead of their own. And he kind of like, you know, the, kind of morphed into this, like I said, top 40 machine instead of the heart we used to know back in the day. And we could, what could he say? He agreed. Mm. Hey, Dr. Hello? Hey, Keith. Keith. Yo. Keith, there you are, Keith. Apologize yeah. to Earl, please. For what? For God? Oh, God. For what? You forgot already? Yeah. Dumb shit. As always. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking dumb shit. Look at this guy. Keith, uh, Keith, is your cousin going to come on the show, or did you already add your cousin in? Uh, I don't, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Is Keith's cousin on the call? Um, this guy is clearly on the beam, it, beam, beef, beef is his name, I think. Beef or a barber. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a medieval weapon. You sound like a caveman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't say that. I'm sorry. Go check out these new glasses I just got. Let me see. And they're not cheap either. They're the All guest right. brand. Look at the case. Wow. How, nice. How much? $139. Damn. It is wow. Nice. Damn. Damn. Real? Dude, he, he goes to fucking Ross to buy shit. Come on. Now nah, that's true. <laughs> Twenty twenty one dollars on Amazon, but it is a brand, so they're not like you know. Just, it's not too much, but it's not like they're cheap, cheap either. But they're still. I get good. Let's hear it. Can you go on stream because I can't see it here on. on it's the good with the look. I see it. Can you go on stream with the look, right? For some reason. If you don't mind. Keith work harder. How you doing? Keith work harder. How was how was soccer? I love it. Hmm. Excellent. I scored a goal. Um, we're going to state. We're 100% going to states. Yeah, is that confirmed? Yes. And we have four more weeks of practice, and then we have state games. I hope you lose your first game. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> is there any injuries? At, like, is there an ambulance out there just in case there's injuries or no? Of course. Got to. Yep. Really, Keith? Yeah. Always. And Dude, these people you know, that are playing out there are doing triple C. Three years ago, um, we we were at county games for soccer, and so, someone had a seizure at the county games, and <laughs> they, 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 oh, really? Geez. Yeah, it's a person who has like seizures, like uh, freak, uh, numerous times in a year, or whatever. I don't know. A lot. What the fuck are you saying, dude? Keith, a lot of people like that uh, commercial. Oh, wow. Bro, oh, me? Baby. That's fucking weird. Me, you, and Scott have the same beard right now. Whoa. Bro, that's fucking weird. Oh, Keith, come on. Keith does have the same beard. I'm serious. Look. I'm gonna see it. Are you talking about me? Stop talking about me, man. Bro, the same shit. (laughs) Yeah, what the fuck? I'm seeing it on Skype. I mean, on YouTube. That's fucking weird, dude. Hmm. I'm not saying no one's copying off anyone. I'm just saying, Keith. Yeah. Keith. Keith setting the standard on the beards in his community, number one, on the, on the hygiene thing, on the hair. Yeah. He almost looks I mean, like Pablo. I mean, I had to get myself actor. together. That is why I fucking spent $100 and got a fucking bleach, for Christ's sake. Mm-hmm. I had to type my shit up. You know, I keep, always said, and I got to keep it 100, I think I think Scott had the be- has the best hair and beard in the community. 
Keith almost reminds me of Pablo Schreiber, the actor. Oh, that schmuck. Mm. I thought you were going to say Pablo Diablo. I thought you were going to say Pablo Escobar. Yeah. Who knows about Pablo Diablo? Yeah, the Moreno. Is he a soccer oh, player? We on, we be on the pier playing Mexican music all night, man. We'd keep the whole neighborhood up. What Whoa. the man? We was partying live, man. Yo, I'm going to take a shower, all right? <laughs> Yo, I just did Pablo Diablo. Hmm. All right, Why show up. Um, heard of Pablo Diablo? Yeah. Pablo uh, Diablo? Yeah, man. Mm, is, is that a name of a rapper? Yes. It's a... Well... Or a soccer player. It's a, it's a name of a rapper. Oh, obviously. Well, I mean, he was like on interludes of this rap album. Oh, he was on ludes? He was on interludes. All right. He's like, man, we kept the whole neighborhood up, man. We were singing one time, man. Yo, man, people go crazy, man. Oh, one of those, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And does someone have the hiccups? Yeah, why? Oh, okay. This one. I had to contribute. All right. All right, there. So um, let's continue right our discussion there. Yep. Still on Jeff the guitar Scott player. Baxter. Oh, yeah. From Steely Dan, the Doobie Brothers. Him yeah. and Robert Fripp are still are, are the, probably the most well known seated guitar players out there. All right. All right. Anybody so, got any others? Um. I will say, um, speaking of the Doobie Brothers, Patrick Simmons from the oh, Doobie yeah. Brothers. He's still with them to this very day there. Mm. Yeah, right. I really like that song. Listen to the music. Yeah, it's an old one there. You should check out Train. What's that called? Uh, oh, what's it called? Train long Train Running. Yeah. What a Fool yeah, that, Believes. That song is good, but it's, it's not as good as Listen to the Music. Mm, yeah, that's an old one. Yeah. And I hate to say this, Keith, it's classic rock. Yep. Yeah. I mean, but it's like, it's like listening to like only the good die young. It's it's just a good song. Like mm. only like only good die young and um. Wait, what song was, was I just talking about? Um, um, listen to the music. Yeah, listen to the music. Like, they both have this, like, it's kind of like a little bit like pop, kind of. Mm. Like, and right, it's like cool. It's, cool. It's, it's like a feel good song. The few feel good songs. They like kind of, I guess they're kind of similar, maybe. All right. Okay. All right, there. So, Keith, do you have anything contributed on our continuing list here? No. Okay, there. All right, so you here, you just hang out, all right? Yep. You know, okay. Now, so, right now, it's just me and Ark, you know, doing our guitar player picks there. I already mentioned uh, Patrick Simmons for the Doobie Brothers. Ark, you're up next, I guess. Steve Vai. Oh, yeah. I don't, I'm surprised he wasn't mentioned earlier. He played with Zappa, a band called Alcatraz, which Invade Mom's team was involved in briefly. He did that guitar uh, scene, that scene in the movie Crossroads with Mouth Macho. He, you know, he, he was also do a project with the Ozzy Osbourne, I guess it was called X-Ray, I believe, with around 1980, 1995 there. And he also contributed with Whitesnake as well on an album called 
slip of the tongue. Yeah. In fact, apparently he was the only guitar player on that album since Adrian Vandenberg was involved with a car wreck there, so he was able to make any of the sessions. Who you got? And he's also did uh, the, the G3 tours with uh, him, Joe Satriani, and a, a number of other guitar players, including Robert Fripp, Inve Momstein, and a few others there. And I don't know if we ever mentioned, did we ever mention Joe Satriani previously? Oh, yeah. Okay, there. Well, we right. did, in addition to the Van Halen thing. Yes, sir, truly, yeah, yeah. But I mean, in our list. I think so, but heck, we're on episode four, I think. Yeah, I do. It's got a lot because we went mentioned so many guitar players there. You know, there's a couple I forgot. I don't think I've yet even mentioned as well there. I'll get to that. Actually, I'm going to bring, bring this one in now. She was a member of Prince and the Revolution for about the night from the Purple Rain tour up until about 1987. Her and her uh, partner, Lisa Coleman, had a had Wendy Lisa going on for many years. In fact, they did soundtracks for um, the so the Showtime show. Excuse me, the Showtime series Soul Food. They did the music score for that program and a couple other programs as well. Wendy Melvoin. All right, there you go. All right. Okay, my next one is. Nils Lofgren. Mm, from the E Street band. Bruce Springsteen's band there. And he also played with Neil Young. Oh uh, yeah, remember, look up the tour from nineteen eighty two when Trans was out. He did right. a lot of computerized cold vocals on sample and hold and a, a couple other tracks. All right. All right. Your turn. Okay, and uh, my next one will probably have to be. I'm running out of room here. We got to include this guy, Jesse Johnson from the time. One of the uh, Prince, many Prince proteges there. One of the probably the most biggest next to Vanity Six. Jesse Johnson was able to do a badass solo on the song 779311. I meant to say there. He did this guitar solo towards the end of the song, which was just totally badass to the core there. I don't know where he is now. I guess they got a new guitar player. I guess um, they're, having, they're not touring right now because they're having issues being prevented from using the name The Time there. Thanks to the Prince of State for some reason. And Morris and the boys are trying to get the right to use that name currently. All right. I don't think we've mentioned this guy, Don Felder. Oh, for the Eagles. Yeah. And we also cannot forget the, the, he had a brief solo career for a while there. We cannot forget his song titled Heavy Metal from the movie of the same name. Which was all over the radio. I guess he had another solo hit with a song called Bad Girls. I think that's what's called there. Got to definitely look that up sometime. And my, and did we ever mention Glenn Fry from the Eagles on previous uh, episodes? I think we did because we talked about his career with Miami Vice. Yeah, that's true. And his solo career as well there. But in case we haven't done, we'll definitely mention him again. Glenn Fry, because he wrote a lot of good songs with the Eagles. His solo career as well there. You know, right. we cannot forget, you know, um, Party Town. And we cannot forget that song he did, that ballad, which is still often played on the soft rock stations during their love programs there. Like the one I mentioned, Pillow Talk, back in Michigan. The song, The One You Love. Very tear-jerking song there when you listen to the lyrics. Yeah. Okay, my next one is Ricky Nielsen, or Rick Nielsen. Ah, from Cheap Trick. Yep. I you know, I then, uh, mentioned him. I know. It's like the man, you talk about the Hammer guitars that the Judas Priest often played in the 80s there. This guy was probably one of the biggest endorsers 
Who cannot? He had a lot of Hama guitars in his collection. Who cannot forget the famous five neck guitar that he often played on stage a lot of times? How much did it cost to manufacture that guitar? Is what I would like to know. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen them in concert several times. Yeah, I only saw them once in early 1991 when they played the River Rock Fest back in D-Town. Me and a gal that was dating at that time went and checked them out. You got another one? Uh, no, I do not, sir. I think I'm uh, pretty much done with my list there. Okay, I have two more. Number one, okay. Terry Kath. Terry Cab from Chicago, rest in peace. That guy was phenomenal. It was, yeah. I guess the the, the, the solo James Brown lived through his uh, music, it was through his uh, licks and vocals there. When you think about it, there. Yeah, and then my last one is a guy from your area, up mm -hmm. north. Yeah. I don't think we ever mentioned Ted Nugent. I don't think we have. No, I mean when you think about it, there. Nugent is a one phenomenal guitar player. I mean, he took a jazz, the bass, a, bass, a guitar that's basically meant for jazz musicians, and he turned it into a rock and roll staple. And he still plays those kind of guitars today, the Gibson Birdland guitars. It's a big hollow body guitar. He also, he's always played it throughout the, the Amboy Dukes and his solo careers. I guess in the 80s, he switched to, I guess, the uh, PR. S guitar, Ron, the Paul Reed Smith type of guitar. Paul Smith, yeah. Um, yeah. Brown. Brown. Brown, Brown, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you take a, have you taken any shits today, or? I did, yes. Hard stool, soft stool. Hard stool. Wow. Um, yeah. Mm. Well, that was a diversion. Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of shit talk for you guys. I took two shits today, both hard stool. Mm. Wow. 45 hard soul shits, nigga. All right. Uh. All right. Cut. No, let it go. Let it oh, go. gosh. Let it go. Have let you heard this, go. Keith, yet? No, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let that go. Shit go, man. No, let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Who made it? Why are it? Did. <laughs> Uh -oh. Me and SC no, were having no. a conversation let about some of that shit. Let it go. Let that go. And that's what I was telling him. No, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let that go. Shit go, man. No, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let that go. Shit go, man. Hmm. That's a trick. <laughs> okay, for our next series. Right. Hey, this is Keith Workharder from the YR program, the world's longest co-host for the YR for Work all hard. the shows. Thank oh, you. God. And we are here to provide you with a training class for podcasting. <clears throat> know what you're going to need is a microphone, a computer, and maybe a co-host to go and need a topic to pick you gonna need a electricity outlet for your electricity for your computer systems and we can absolutely train you in a six to eight week course program to become a youtube podcaster with 45 payments of zero dollars you can become podcast or youtube or just like us so if you're out there and you're just watching the shows and you want to be the show you want to make the show, then contact us at 1-800-455-4545 and we'll, we will be emailing you back with the directions for a training classes, which are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at the, floor, at the Computer Center, Florida. And we have three other locations serving in the bilingual communities. It, if this sounds like something you would like to be interested, please contact us this week. Work harder. This is Keith. Work harder for the WIRE program. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> <for that>. Wow. <laughs> so lead singers on the next show. No. Male singer. Uh, what? Male huh? singers, not lead. 
male singers. Mm. Yeah, because we already mm. did the uh, the female singers a couple episodes back there. They don't have to be lead. Yep. Can they be lead though? Like, can I throw in? Can I throw in a Sammy Hagar? Well, lead. Lead is probably the dominant, but there are other yeah. guys. Yeah. Or backup. But technically. Technically, single artists aren't lead singers. They're singers. Yeah. Such as James Taylor. I mean. Yeah. He's not a lead singer. He's a singer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Keith, did you score anything on your goals? Yeah, I scored one goal today. We played. Right. You get some video next time. Okay. Yeah, yeah we got to see this, man. Uh, yeah, my mom didn't even take me there. Um, mm. my my soccer coach picked me up and took me. Nice, nice. Yep. So my mom wasn't there to to hold the phone recording. All right there. Next. So uh, this coming. So this Thursday. What up? We have four more practices, and then we go to state games in Walt Disney World. All right. That's good to hear. Hope you guys score well. Thank you. All right, there. All right. <clears throat> so I guess this concludes our episode for today there. Yeah. All right. And uh, once again, this coming Thursday, it's going to be um, male vocalists. This is where we did the female vocalists there. <coughs> and I guess... um. We got lots of the juice on there, I guess. Yeah, this will probably run two or three parts too. That's yeah, so I'm thinking so there, yeah, because there's so many of them out there, regardless of genre. All right, there. So I guess uh, that'll be uh, it for our episode, I guess. Yep. And uh, I got stuff to do. I guess the wire is gonna pop. I don't know if he's gonna contact me later on tonight or later this week or to remember. Somewhere around the weekend there to, to right. get me with my OBS bullshit here. Yes. Because last night I tried to stream it live a couple of uh, uh, techno set and kept, kept circling, lagging, 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 lagging to the point where it's about to throw my computer up against a damn wall. Wow. Well, that won't fix it. I know, yeah. But you understand the frustration, you know. Why are that uh, the show you, the 31 minute show you did an hour ago? Was it just you, or was who was on, or was anybody else on it? Uh, Joe Cronin, JB. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, really? No, really? All right, I was gonna say, man. All right. I was surprised to have those two on the same time. Why should I watch it? All right, there. Why? Why what should up? I watch? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. All right, All right, I guess that's our uh, episode uh, our episode for today there. Once again, this Thursday, we'll be taking a look at all the male vocalists in the music world, past, present, and future. Monday, and, uh, actually. Actually, Monday? Oh, that's right. Uh, what am I talking Today's about? Thursday. Monday. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Dang, gum it. So this coming Monday, we will t- start that. And that probably will last through about two or three episodes, no doubt. And um, for Arknoia, for Keith, for SC, and for YR, and for myself, you guys have a good one. Uh, YR, YR, are we going to watch anything with Bullfrog tonight? No. Is he going on the show? No. I mean- Hello, it's SC Hernandez Gutierrez Gonzalez III, and I am part of the YR program. Considerably uh, one of the most hated men and also one of the most beloved men on the panel in the wire program um here today to promote a new class yes a dating class for you lucky men out there on how to hook up with women in this community now if you're a man and you have a penis the size of a baseball bat well guess what you're in luck yes a baseball penis shape if you have one of those you're in luck because most of the women in this community have a face that looks like a, a catcher's mitt. Yes, an actual baseball catching glove for face. How horrible is that in this community? 
I mean, it, it's come to terms as well. That's pretty much what's left here. And uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, you are in luck. Now, we do have a couple of requirements. And here we go. If you're into wrestling, if you're a weirdo, if you have a speech impediment, and if you collect money from the government, well, guess what? Today is your lucky day. You will have the love of your life in a matter of seconds here, folks. With our class today, you can soon, too, find the love of your life. Now, all it takes is a little hope of faith. A little hope of faith the size of a grain of mustard seed. Okay? Now, by God, you're going to get something out of this community, whether it's threats or the love of your life. You're bound to get one of those here today, ladies and gentlemen. But not from us. You'll, you'll get one of these uh, beloved women. Now, threats come from the other side. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, mainly gentlemen, if you're out there in search for women, please let us know. We will more than gladly help you. Now, if you're into also old battered uh, catcher's mitten looking like faces used by a yogi bear, then you're in luck. Please call in, sign in, do be in the chat, whatever you'd like. Today is the day to find the love of your life. Contact us any any way you wish to. You have all of us here on the panel. Thank you so much. We will be giving you some free pointers and tips on the left as you exit. Thank you. And uh, this is SC Steve Gutierrez Martinez Guadalupe Martinez III. And thank you. That is sad.